Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to continue with the tarot readings for um, the Pisces season and today is the turn of the boys uh, Hacknyum. So yes, um, there are two Pisces in, in, in the boys and I already done Kevin's so it's time for Hacknyum. So yes, let's begin with the cards that he got. He got the Queen of Cups, uh, King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, the Chariot, uh, Three of Wands, and then from the Oracle of the Radiant Sun, he got the card of Saturn in Sagittarius, Fulfillment. So, yeah, very interesting, actually very, like, um, very beautiful cards he got, uh, Hagnum. Definitely, I can I can see his maturity here. Um, definitely, I think that this is a guy that is totally like like underrated. You know, in the in the sense that um, I definitely admire the the sense of business and somehow um, groundness or groundiness that he has. It does give me peace to know that he is so in control of things or that. That I don't know. It seems like he had, in comparison to the other uh, members' energies that I've been reading, it seems like he he's the most mature one energetically. Like um, I think that he's very focused. Like he knows exactly what he has to do. Like like an adult, like a real adult, but like like you know, like somehow like. A, 40 year olds in a body of of a young adult um i don't know if it this makes sense but it seems like he had been like working on himself or or just like his life in general it seems very um very stable um he, he's represented here by the skin of pentacles so probably i don't know much about hakion like uh, background or his, you know, his lifestyle, but it seems like he's he has the mentality of a sort of business person, like a CEO, like a leader, like uh, someone that had mastered and and gained a lot of experiences through the years. But I believe that it has to do with having confidence that you have the resources, you know, that that you have. Um, that you have what it takes and that you will wait patiently for your turn. And I think that this is what makes him even more confident. And also he starts here with the Queen of Cups. So definitely I would dare to say that this is his mother um, um, or, or a very strong female figure that is around him that somehow had helped him build this sort of confidence. You know, this... Um, I would say he's treated like a prince by his loved ones because he uh, the prince sounds very childish. I think he's treated like a king, like an adult, like um like someone that 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 yes, he's prosperous, like he's successful, like he's abundant. I don't know if Hagnion owns something like is he an heir or something like that? Like, is he part of a wealthy family or something? But I don't see. I don't think it's about win, being rich or wealthy. I think that it's more about having a very stable upbringing. You know, like that that it consists on hard work. You know, this is why I don't want to say, like, oh, he comes from a rich family or this. No, because I don't see it like this. I see it that it's it's thanks to the family's effort. And he somehow had, um, like, learned a lot about the, the work ethics, you know, about being consistent, about having a schedule, about not taking for granted small actions, like, you know, believing in yourself as well. Uh, but also when you, having the security that you have the resources. Um, probably his mother, if this is his mother, his mother had invested a lot on Hackney's education. 
Um, and when I say education, I think that it's not just going to school and paying for his school or, or his studies. It's more about also like contributing to his emotional, um, his emotional intelligence. You know, I think that it's being very close to him and somehow letting him know that he's very loved. He's a very loved guy. Um, um, I believe he, he, it's probably him and his mom. I don't know why. I don't know if he has siblings. Um, but it seems like she definitely put all her energy and love into him. Um, maybe it's because he's, um, he's a, a boy. He's a man. I don't know. You know that uh, sometimes uh, sons in families have some kind of hierarchy, you know, and I don't know if maybe that's the reason. Uh, but I believe that also he was very wanted as a child. And I don't know what I'm saying this because it has nothing to do. I'm seeing the King of Pentacles here, very mature, and all of a sudden I'm talking about babies. So I don't know, but it seems like he had always been like this. You know, it's not that, that you know, she had talked to Hagnion about, you know, loving and respecting himself and others um, just now. You know, if he, he was able to be so mature, it's because she, she's also very smart. She's a very smart and a very uh, talented person herself, probably very intelligent, very knowledgeable as well. And she, like, somehow transfer all what, everything she knows to, to him, you know. Um, in the middle, we have the Four of Pentacles. So definitely I sense that Hagnion is, this year, he's going to be, like, uh, it's going to be a very successful year for him. Um, because I, I believe that he's a guy, like I mentioned earlier, that, that he has a sort of, like, patience. He has a sort of, like, very moderated nature that um, he's a sort of manifestor, you know, he, he truly believes that if he, he puts enough intention in something, he will get it eventually. So somehow I see him holding on to something very tight. Um, I don't think it has to do with the boy's success, even though he's putting all his energy and effort and hard work into it. I believe he has another project. Um, probably he has been work. He's going, or he has been working on something that it's individual that it has to do with his aspirations, or with his individual desire, and or aspiration. Um, so I think he's holding on really tight to it because he wants it. He wants it, and probably he's waiting for some kind of confirmation, or he's just waiting to get that that specific. Um, role or activity, I don't know, but definitely he's moving forward, guys. Uh, if you're a fan of Hakion, like be happy be, and be content because actually he's going to be moving for moving forward with his career and his individual activities. Or um, there's going to be a lot of movement and a lot of growth in in Hakion's, um um, in Hagnion's career, you know, and also this is going to be a very emotional success because I believe that, that Hagnion, you know, it does, it's very, even though I see all these movements here, you know, and all this expansion, because as you know, he is a moon in Sagittarius. So definitely, you know, seeing all this, his ability to expand, you know, everything, it's, um, it's moving, you know, everything, it's, is like on its path, on its way to him. You know, he will get the results that he wants. But it does caught my attention. You know, it does, uh, like, it makes me interested, like, why this four of pentacles here, you know? Um, he's a very ambitious guy. This is, this is I, I believe that probably, you know, he is someone that is very composed. You know, he seems very stable like nothing breaks him, you know, like very like, like a sort of like, I wouldn't say like stagnant. He's more like a Zen, a Zen person, you know, he has this Zen aura, like a sort of Buddhist, you know, that he just 
concentrates all his energy in silence and somehow he can like make things happen uh, to his will. But also here with the Four of Pentacles, definitely I think that, that Hagnion is someone that he doesn't let go of things. And I don't know why, it, it does remind me of like um, Taurus energy because he had Pentacles, so it has to do with with material things, and but also it has to do with prestige, probably. Um, and, and I think that he, maybe this is, I'm picking on his Mars in Scorpio, that it's about secrecy. You know, I think that he's hold, he holds on really tight to things, probably he hides things, you know, he, he doesn't tell people about, you know, his aspirations or what he wants to get until he gets it. You know, he holds on really tight, almost obsessively, to the object of his desire. And once he knows that he gets it, that's when he relaxes and he releases it. And he's like, oh, okay, yes, I have something to tell you. Like, yes, I'm getting this. But I think that he's also very jealous of his of his uh, individual desires. You know, I, I believe he's very... Uh, secretive, you know, there's something about him like, like, um, like refraining himself from sharing what he knows, you know, he's, he's like holding on very tight, like, mm, I don't want to tell you, I don't want to share what I know, you know, so this somehow can also make him seem a bit of a hermit in front of others, you know, like, like, because probably um, because he's part of a large group, with, uh, there's a lot of uh, people, you don't pay attention to this, but probably he does have this, um, like I wouldn't say he's petty, but, but he does like, it's like he, he does hold information, you know, and, and I think that this is necessary to somehow like see it because it's in the middle of the reading and I wonder if this is like a self-defense mechanism like he's afraid of losing something um, there's something here you know there's a reason why he's here with all this energy like very obsessively holding on to it you know like like it's mine it's mine you're not gonna you're not gonna get it like it's mine it's my dream it's not yours it's mine you know there's also probably this need of him to like have his own things you know probably he's a very independent person or it's like he enjoys doing things with the group but at the same time he's he wants to do something individually and and he's like, oh, I better not share it because I don't know if they are going to get what I want or if they are going to understand why I want this so bad. You know, so some, and, and there's also this, and, and I don't think that this has to do with the boys, but probably there's a, a grudge that, that Hagnion has uh, for the industry that he's seen. I don't know if in the past he was treated unfairly. Or there was like some negativity around him because he seems like everything that he does or a, a, a little bit of, you know, um, success that he gets or the opportunity to advance in his career. For him, it's like, you know, a, a way that he wants to show that he's capable of having this now. You know, and that probably in the future he will get much more opportunities, and and it's like having this, giving this warning to his haters probably, and being like, see, I told you, you told me I couldn't make it or I couldn't do it, and now I'm doing it. So watch me. You know, something. This is very Mars in Scorpio, really. This is why I I think that I it caught my attention definitely here because the the Four of Pentacles. Is, is you know about being a bit a stubborn you know and but I think that for him this is like a, a personal vendetta like a personal thing that he has with someone that it is a sort of fuel in his body to somehow be patient and wait for the moment where he makes the advance when he gets the desire when he gets the project when he gets the opportunity he's like see I'm I'm, I'm making progress. 
I'm growing, I'm expanding, even when you told me that I couldn't do it. Like he's proving himself, you know, he's proving his value, which I believe that is very brave and definitely he must have his reasons. But I, I, I was thinking that this, this would be very interesting to, to, you know, to expand this interpretation in this way. Because it's in the middle of the reading and somehow it caught my eye, you know, it, it's, it's like very interesting. Definitely Hagnon is not going to stop. He has a lot of ideas, he has a lot of visions, and probably this activity that he gets um, is, is going to get him even bigger opportunities or more opportunities. Also, it's possible that with the group, with the boys, they're going to be traveling a lot, they're going to be like on concerts, so you know, like experiencing other cultures as well. And I believe that he loves this. It also inspires him uh, to visit other places. Um, and then, yes, from the Oracle, he had the card of fulfillment, Saturn is Sagittarius. He see the Sagittarius energy here, and he is the Sagittarius moon. So, you know, there's this, definitely with the card of fulfillment, it's like he's going to get what he wants eventually. He's going to get what he wants. And I believe he knows this. I believe that if I would be reading for for Hacknion, he would be looking at me and just nodding. You know, he would be like, yes, I know. I know what you're telling me, I already know. <laughs> Something like this, you know. Because he has a very strong... Um, that guy has a very strong system of support. Um, I believe that he doesn't talk about it that that often because I think that probably um, it's it's not um, it's not something that that comes up into conversation. But if you ask me from what I see here, I see that Hagnion it's very is very he has the right people around him, you know, and and probably also the members are very protective of him, you know, there's there's a lot of people, and, and not to mention the fans, of course, but I think that for him, he's a guy that he's not alone, you know, he's not alone, he definitely, uh, people have his back, and, and, and yes, he's, um, but he's also very, like, a guy that it's very, you can trust Hakyon, you know, even though he can be playful, and he can, uh, he can seem like, like he's distracted. He's not. He's never distracted. His eyes are always on the goal. This is a guy that he's never distracted. He knows what he's here for. He wants to be successful. He wants to get uh, that, that success, that fulfillment. For him, it's important. He's not naive in this sense. You know, He can look like he's young, or he can look like sometimes he's... He's like, um, like bubbly or, or, you know, like, like a cool guy, but he's a very smart guy, honestly. He's a very smart guy, definitely. So, yes, a beautiful reading for him. Um, this is all I have for him, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. And, of course, like I always tell you, if you know of any Joby that, that is interested in Tarot and would want to watch the the boys tarot that I do, uh, I would appreciate if you share it with them so I can get more Jovis uh, to find my channel. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.